What's going on everybody? So today I'm going through 20 of the most ridiculous baseball cards in my collection. I literally um, spent the last couple of days just going through thousands of common cards, just trying to find the most ridiculous cards I could find. Uh, I even went as far as to buy the most ridiculous card of all time, in my opinion. So that's number one, but we'll get to there. Um, in the meantime, uh, these are uh, some honorable mentions. As you can see, I have the, <laughs> the Bushwhackers placed right in the middle of it. Um, for this top 20, just to give you guys some context, I tried to focus on just baseball cards and just cards that I thought were sort of unintentionally funny. So with that being said, let's get started. So number 20 is this <laughs> Jose Rio card. Uh, where Jose is literally wearing the most ridiculous sunglasses I've ever seen in my life. So, number 20. Uh, number 19 is this uh, Glen Allen Hill. Uh, that is not Glen Allen Hill. That guy is Glen Allen Hill. So, <laughs> I thought that card was pretty funny. I've always thought this card was pretty funny. So, uh, number 19. Number 18 is Nolan Ryan on a horse. And uh, <laughs> part of what makes this card ridiculous is not just Nolan Ryan on a horse. Like, is just the back, uh, which I read, I was reading the other day, and it just it, it made it even more ridiculous. It says, Nolan, who grew up in the small town of Alvin, Texas, has many business interests. He's foremost a baseball player, and he recently purchased another bank, giving him two, and agreed to a long... Well, well, I was like, whoa, whoa, wait a second. He has recently purchased a bank, and then he bought another bank? Like, I, I just don't... Like, this whole card doesn't make any sense. Like, does the bank that he... Like, why does he own a bank? And, like, does, does that have anything to do with horses? Like, maybe bank is, like, a term for horses. I, I don't know, but, like... The whole card doesn't make any sense to me, and therefore it's number 18 on my list. Uh, number 17 on my list is um, sort of like the best mullet category, and uh, I gave it to these two cards. I got Denny Nagel and uh, Chuck Finley. I guess I'll let you guys decide if you think one is better than the other in terms of uh, best mullet. But um, And I'd love to see if you guys can find a better card. Um, I'm sure there are probably better mullets out there, but I thought these were pretty... Pretty good uh, examples of uh, pretty nice mullets. So, number 16 is sort of the ambiguously gay category. <laughs> and uh, we got Greg Dobbs. Greg Dobbs with um, this guy here. And uh, we got Randy Villardi. <laughs> Randy Villardi. And uh, finally, Daryl Hamilton and Greg Vaughn looking. Uh, Oh, so longingly into each other's eyes. So, um, thought that was pretty nice. But uh, I'll let you guys decide if you have a, a favorite for for that category. Uh, number fifteen is this <laughs> fifty cent card, and the card is ridiculous. But it's really the fact that it it's related to the first pitch that he made, uh, and I love it when celebrities. Uh, throw a first pitch and uh, and really screw up. I think it's hilarious. And uh, sort of to memorialize this card, I figured I'd play for you guys this first pitch. Just a bit outside, as Bob Euchre would say. So uh, that's number 16. Number 15. The power of Christ compels you! Oh, I think this is number 13. Uh, Sean Kelly. <laughs> Sean Kelly and probably the most, the, the happiest card I've ever seen, so... Followed by number 12, which is the, uh, one of the most unhappy cards I've ever seen, is this Ed Lynch card. 
I don't know what it is, but he doesn't look too happy. Um, and it's a, I'm sure it's a really bad photo of him. But uh, number 11, uh, Wade Boggs with a chicken. I, I don't, to this day, I don't know why he has a chicken. I, I assume that's not a real chicken. That's a toy chicken. But either way, like, he has a baseball bat and a chicken. And it's it's just strange to me. So, anyway, that's, that's number 11. Uh, number 10. <laughs> this card isn't really that ridiculous. But to me, it's funny. Just because, like... Vance Law, he's just he's holding four balls like there's nothing difficult about holding four balls like that's not like a magic trick. <laughs> I don't know for some reason that makes me laugh. So number ten, he's, he's on number ten on my list. That's all that matters. Uh, number nine are two guys that look like these these guys. I'll let them compete. <laughs> Tim Stoddard and Veet. Vukovic. Um, both of these guys don't look like I'm pretty sure that neither of these guys actually played baseball. Like that they like they probably made the photographer take a picture of them and say that this, you know, this you better put me on a baseball card. So I don't know. That's what I'm convinced of. Um especially Pete. I mean, he looks like he's about to uh take somebody out. So <laughs> that's uh number nine. Number eight is this uh, Brian. I'm not even gonna try to say his last name, but uh, what what I love about this card is not so much him, but what's going on in the background. First of all, why this girl has a dog? I don't. I don't. Under, I actually looked it up. I guess like the Astros occasionally have like a a dog day. So <laughs> for some reason, this girl has a dog, and she's like freaking. Like the ball's not even really that close to her, but she's like freaking out. So, uh, I don't know. I thought it was funny. So, that's number eight. Um, next up is this uh, card, which I like to call Sad and Alone. <laughs> this guy's just like, he looks very sad and alone on this card. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, he's like, the woods is behind him. He doesn't look happy to be too happy to be there. So, uh Oh, I think this is number seven, so sorry. It's number seven. Number six. <laughs> Jeffrey Lem Leonard. <laughs> uh, clearly not happy about the sad and the lone card. Or or being number six on this list, I'm sure. Uh, number five. Uh, this is a category for best unibrow. And uh, <laughs> Sammy Stewart. And Stan Javier, both great mullets. I think I, I got to give it to Sammy Stewart here. Like, he is just wearing that unibrow like he owns it. So, uh, <laughs> that one I thought was pretty epic. So, I had to give it um, number five on the list with, the, with that unibrow. Uh, number four is, great, is basically the greatest photo bomb I've ever seen. Which is this <laughs> Tory Hunter card? Uh, I, I'm again. I'm sure it was totally unintentional, but <laughs> this guy in the background. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> so uh, best photo bomb in my opinion. Number four. Number three. Uh, this is sort of a popular card amongst ridiculous cards. This Randy McCammont. And it's not so much the front card as it is uh, the back of this card. <laughs> uh, this guy, um, yeah, I don't like the way he's looking at me right now. So let's see. Let's take a look at his stats. Oh, not bad. 3.93. That's not bad. But he is looking at me like, I don't know. I don't, I don't like the way he's looking at me. So that's number three. Number two, Gary Lucas. <laughs> so you got Gary Lucas up here, and then you got Gary Lucas down there. <laughs> you got Gary Lucas down there. Uh, great card. I, I think there's a card similar to this, where like that's pretty popular, 
but I thought this one was great. Just like you got you got him looking like this up here, and then he's just like, seriously. <laughs> so uh, number two, Gary Lucas, and then uh, finally number one. Uh, and if you if you're a collector of baseball cards, this shouldn't come as a surprise in terms of what number one is. Uh, to me, the number one number one most ridiculous card of all time. And uh, it is this card, the Bill Ripken 1989 Fleer fuckface card. <laughs> and uh, there it is with the bat. And um, to me, I, I still, to this day, I don't understand how this card was distributed. I've heard that there's almost 100,000 of these cards that ended up getting distributed. I mean, just keep in mind, I mean, this is at the height of baseball card popularity. Fleer is a huge company at this time. And somehow, so many of these uh, fa cards come out, go out there. Uh, I, was re I was reading something, and I guess Bill Ripken, he didn't realize that like sort of, I think he forgot like I don't think he intentionally did this but he did admit that he actually wrote that at the bottom of the bat and um it was uh, some it was a way for him to sort of pick out which card uh which uh baseball bat was his I mean if there's hundreds of bats out there if you write something like that at the barrel of your bat then I'm sure you're going to be able to find your your bat pretty easily so Anyway, uh, that is number one on my list, uh, and you can see here I got a Gem Mint 10. This actually was not cheap, <laughs> and uh, but I had to own it. It's To me, it's the most ridiculous card of all time. I uh, want to say, if you guys, uh, for those of you that watch my videos, um, if you guys uh, do a top 5, top 10, top 20, whatever you do, if you do a top, you know, whatever ridiculous list, please link it to my channel. I'd love to see uh, what you guys have. I have a lot of more cards that I probably should sort through, so uh, maybe I'll do that. And who knows, maybe I'll, I'll post another one of these um, top 20 ridiculous videos. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun sort of going through and picking out uh, <laughs> cards that I thought were funny. So uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks.